Hey, Scott Brewer here, Level 5 Tools. So here's the ongoing raging debate. I'm not going to be able to answer this question, but it's hawk and trowel versus knife and pan. This has only been asked about 5,000 times online, and the answer is there is no answer. There's a lot of guys, particularly in the United States, Northeast, uh, maybe even Southwest, where east and stucco, maybe there was plaster that was used in a lot of places that they were brought up and trained by their dads and their grandpas in the hawk and the trowel, right? There's guys in Canada, primarily hawk and trout, plastering trades, primarily came from Europe. In Europe, we see a lot of hawk and trout guys, just because they were brought up under the plastering. The United States is a lot more pan and knife. So the question is, what were you most comfortable with and what were you brought up with? There is some debate, though, related to ergonomics, you know? When you're using a pan, when you're using a pan all day long and hold this pan in the night, you're using your hands and you're using your muscles in certain ways. There's some guys who are starting to switch it up a little bit, you know, they start getting a little bit tired, they get their wrists, uh, get a little warm, you know, they mix it up because it's a different way of finishing. Now, this takes some getting used to, of course. You know, when you're blending your material on a, on a hawk, uh, and then you're putting that on in a different way, it's a different motion, different pressure, and different way to hold. So, uh, I'm not going to tell you which way to go is better. You know, I see a lot of guys loading their outside corners with a trowel. You know, it's a very efficient way to, to do maybe a, an eave over top. But again, if you're gonna ask me which one, hawk or trowel, knife and pan, that ain't a fight I'm gonna get into. If you like what you hear, subscribe to our YouTube channel. You can always check us out on Facebook under Level 5, level5tools.com. Welcome to the Red Zone.